So what we have here is the Anapro A2 pressure reducing comfort head strap for the Apple Vision Pro. Full disclosure, I was sent a demo unit to review a few weeks ago in advance of the public release but I'm not being paid to make this video. Now, this is the second version of this head strap. I've been using the first version for several months now, which I really do like. So we're gonna open up the second version, the A2, and see how it stacks up. Opening the box here, we see that the biggest difference is the second version has this spacing, this gap between the top of the head strap and the cushion here. It also has four different cushions that you can use to apply, they have Velcro on the back and these cushions allow you to get an adjustable sizing fit. Now this is one of the biggest pieces of feedback people gave on the first version that fit really close to your forehead. And you can see with the V2, it's a little bit bigger. There's that gap, which allows it to be a little bit more suspension oriented on your forehead and adjustable. So let's test it out. Now, one thing I appreciate is how simple this is to use. It's really easy to install. All you have to do is unclip this loop band, and then this slides over the left and right arms, and it covers these speaker channels, but just like the first version, it has cutouts so that the audio will go right through. Then you just clip the loop band right back into place, and because this fits entirely around the left and the right arms, it fits securely in place and it's not gonna fall off. It's not gonna go anywhere. So one of the big advantages you get with the Anapro head strap is that it allows you to use your Apple Vision Pro without the light seal, which is actually my preferred way to wear it. It gives you a much wider field of view. I think it's more comfortable as you get air passing through. Some people complain that it can kind of bother you with the glare coming through, but after using it in that fashion for several months, that's generally my way I like to wear it. All right, so let's put it on. Tighten the loop band, slide it around a bit, and there we go. So like the first version, the Anapro sits at the top of your forehead. You might have to slide it around a bit and adjust the loop band knob to get the fit just right. Now I'm using the second smallest cushion insert here, which I think is a more comfortable fit than you get with the first version. And there is more of a gel-like foam feel to the second version cushions, which I really like. Now in terms of comfort, I think this definitely improves upon the first version. The gap and spacing between the top and the cushion definitely gives you some suspension. It makes it a little bit nicer when you're moving your head around. It makes it easier to adjust and get the right fit. And other than that, it works pretty much the same. Without the light seal, I can move my head around just fine, tilt it down, tilt it up. Yeah, it moves around just a little bit, but it still does fit securely in place. So now I'm gonna try it with the light seal in place, which I actually think makes the biggest difference between the first and the second version here. Pretty simple, I can keep the Anapro in place and just pop the light seal on. There we go. And slide it back on. Yeah, so this is where I think you're gonna find the biggest difference between the original and the new version is when you're using the light seal because of that adjustable fit and the adjustable cushions you can put in. I find the new A2 to be more comfortable when using the light seal. The Anapro takes the pressure off your face and your cheekbones and redistributes it to the top of your forehead so you don't get that ski goggle effect when you take the Apple Vision Pro off. What's also nice is that you don't have to tighten the loop band very much to get a good fit when you're using the Anapro and the light seal. You still do get a little bit of pressure on the top of the light seal, depending on the size of the cushion that you're using, but it's not nearly as bad as without it. Moving my head around, it feels nice and secure and doesn't feel like it's going to fly off. Now the one drawback here, light seal or not, is that when you take it off, your hair can get kind of messy and that's because the Anapro sits at the top of my hairline at least. And so when I do put this on, I have to kind of maneuver it against the top of my forehead and kind of slide it up into place so that it doesn't get my hair all messy and sit on top of my hair. So if that's something that might bother you, just keep that in mind that you might need to do a little finagling. Overall though, I think that the Anapro A2 is 
the best head strap that I've tested for the Apple Vision Pro, and that's because it blends comfort and ease of use. It's lightweight, it's easy to pack, and it's easy to take on and off. Like I said, I still think the first version is pretty great, and if you don't have any qualms with it, I don't think you're necessarily gonna need to upgrade. But if you don't already own a head strap for the Apple Vision Pro, I definitely recommend going with the A2. If you're interested in buying the Anna Pro A2, I have included a link in the description down below. I do get a commission if you purchase, and if you do purchase, let me know what you think, give me your feedback, and thanks for watching.